Whether it's the bobbit worm's impressive length, its strong scissor-like jaws, or its ambush style of hunting, there are plenty of reasons to be afraid of and fascinated by the mysterious sand striker. Meet the bobbit worm. The bobbit worm is a worm, weaponized. Found in warmer oceans around the world, it buries itself into sediment, leaving only its mouth exposed with its huge, scissor-like jaws open wide. Their jaws are wider than their body. Five antennae protruding from its head act like tripwires. If a fish should accidentally brush past one of them, it has mere milliseconds to flee. The bobbit worm's razor-sharp mouthparts strike with such velocity that prey is sometimes sliced clean in two. Retraction back into its burrow has been clocked at over 20 feet per second. The bobbit worms inject a toxin into their prey, which stuns or kills it, such that prey much larger than the worm itself can be eaten and digested. Typical observed sizes for most bobbit worms range from 2 to 4 feet in length, but can grow to 10 feet long. There are several unverified claims of these marine worms reaching lengths of 50 feet. They are fast growing and their growth is only limited by the availability of food. Their bristles are quite powerful. Their long bodies are covered in tiny bristles that help them explode out of their burrows when hunting. These bristles allow them to grip onto their burrow's walls to stay in position when hiding and to pull their prey in to feed. In 2009, a nearly 10-foot-long bobbit worm was discovered living within an aquaculture raft in Shirahama, Japan. The worm measured 299 centimeters, had 673 segments, and weighed 433 grams. Bobbit worms build mucus-lined burrows in the seafloor. It's rare to see a bobbit worm's full body. Unlike other related species, it creates an L-shaped burrow in the sand to hide away undetected. Upon reaching sexual maturity, some bobbit worms line their burrows with mucus to establish a more permanent fixture in the sand. The proteins in the mucus strengthen the burrow's walls, helping the burrow stay in place. They are practically blind. Bobbit worms have two eyes located in the front section of their head, but they are almost completely blind. The worms mostly use their antennae to sense their prey. They also don't have much of a brain, instead, they have a nerve cell cluster in their autonomic nervous system called a ganglion. Bobbit worms are omnivores that'll eat anything from macroalgae to small fish. They've even been known to eat an octopus. Bobbit worms have a strange ability to split into several parts, which they do when they feel threatened or to reproduce. This phenomenon is called multiplying. Yes, they could also cause some damage to a human. Thankfully, there are no reports of a person ever being attacked by a bobbit worm. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.